Hey, what's going on? It's Jeff here. I appreciate you getting this template and swipe file resource. So I want to quickly go over the next steps. First, I want you to, well, you're already watching this little video. So when you get into this doc, you'll see a few links. I want to kind of go over the steps on how to use it properly. So the first one right here is going to be the Figma resource bank. If you click on this link here, it'll present you with this Figma file. There's going to be a bunch of pages within here that is separated by landing pages, home pages, product pages, product images, and our swipe files. If you click on either one of them, you'll be obviously presented with this. And how you want to navigate is if you have a Mac, you want to hit command and scroll up to zoom in. So hit command and scroll up and scroll down while holding command to zoom out. I think for Windows, it might be control. Play around with the control or like the alt key button scroll up or down and that's how you're going to zoom in and out and if you want to scroll left or right you want to hold shift and scroll up to go left and scroll down to go right it, you just have to kind of play around with it and kind of get a feel for it but again hold command or control and scroll up to zoom in and shift and down to scroll right and you can kind of just play around with that and kind of just navigate through all that but once you kind of get the hang of it, you can navigate through each page and see all the different swap files we have. You will also be able to kind of click on each section and kind of go through it. But the purpose of this is just to kind of show you different examples of various different brands, industries, niches, selling different products. And you'll also see a bunch of templates here as well. And if you want to copy and use it for your own Figma, just click on either whichever frame you want. Make sure you're highlighting both or multiple at the same time and just hit Command C to copy. And then if you ever want to use it for your own Figma, just simply open up a new file that's yours because this is obviously mine. And if you want to use it for yourself, just hit Command C inside there, copy it, and then you can paste it and use it inside yours. So this might be especially useful if you want to copy like a particular template. Let's say you want this template here, Command C and then Command V it, and then you're able to use it and play around with it and edit whatever section you want, and then you can work on the designs there. The next thing I want to show you is the REPL links. So if you click on each link, it's going to redirect you straight to Replo, the app. So it's best if you are already installed it. It's free to install or try out. You only have to pay for Replo if you want to publish and use the page live inside Shopify. But if you click on this link, you'll be presented with something like this. Make sure you're on desktop and click on store. And you can just type in whatever name. So let's just type in like Jeff's Ecom templates. Right, some typos, it's okay. I hit the blue button here. You don't have to worry about all this for now. So while that loads, I'll quickly run. So all of these are going to be individual links to individual page templates. So whether it be the LP1 to so on and so forth, we will have editable, usable Replo templates that you can use for your Shopify store. Give it time. Okay, so once that opens up, you'll see something like this. And I have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of U, UI, UX templates, as well as like templates. All you're going to do is just navigate to each section, whether it be a homepage, and just hit this button right here to, sh to show the designated template. So this is one template here. There's one that we've built from O Positive Health. There's another one. And they're all usable. You can edit it, all that. And how you want to use this is... Same thing as for Figma, just hover over whatever template or section you want to use, Command C, and then you can, let's say we have like a random page here. Let's, okay, let's just create a new page, blah, blah, blah. You can see I did all that for that. But anyways, click on the new page, and after you Command C or copied it, just paste it in, and then that section will be ready to go on a new fresh page. Right, so it's super easy to kind of run through it. And just to show you a bunch of other stuff within this, let's just quickly hide this. There's other sections that you can use. So if you scroll down to UI sections, scroll all the way down 
and you'll see a bunch of different UI. So if you want text blocks, you can click on that, open it up, and you'll see a bunch of text block UI actions that you can again, copy it and paste it into your, so let's say you wanna use this one right here, this column, three column grid. Let's go back to a random one here or Uh, I'm trying to find the one that I had before. All right, yeah, perfect. And then same thing, you can just paste it and then use this for that. Here's a quick tip while I'm already here. You can use these sections inside your Shopify theme editor by simply creating it, creating that section you want after you've finished the designs, added the images, changed the font and all that. You can right click on the section itself, not on the pages, but on the sections, the layers, go to export section, type in the section name, export a section, publish it, and then you'll be presented with something like over here, for example. I'll just show you a random hero section. Publish that section, and once you do, it'll be usable inside your Shopify theme editor. That's an easy way to create custom Shopify sections and pages. And then again, each of these links will direct you the same way to Replo and you can use that. It's a copy paste ready to use link um, to be ready to use inside your Replo that's connected to your Shopify. Hope this helps and send me an email at jeff at daydreamers.studio if you have any questions. All right, appreciate it.